Hi everybody, this is Mary for Stamping Camp with Mary and Mary's uh, Stamping Happenings and today is Tips and Techniques Tuesday. Um, it's getting close to Christmas and I had to make a Christmas gift or I have to make a couple of Christmas gifts um, today and so I thought I'd take you along and show you how to make a really fast fun Christmas gift. Um, let's bring you up. Um, that you can do I would say in less than 10 minutes. Um, it's a set of cards. Everybody loves cards. It's a set of six cards uh, in a decorated box. It goes uh, in the uh, mini paper pumpkin boxes. So what you're going to need is you're going to need um, a stamp set with um, some sayings you like. I am using here's a card in Good Morning Magnolia. Uh, you're going to need coordinating colored ink. I am going to use Rich Razzleberry because I am using uh, some designer series paper um, that has that in. Um, I, and you're going to need six note cards and envelopes. I am, you're going to need um, some designer series paper and I'll tell you right now, um, you're going to need one piece five and a quarter by three and a half, uh, one piece five and a quarter by three quarters of an inch, and two pieces um, three and a half by three quarters of an inch. And then you're gonna need six pieces three by four and a half. So you're going to need, I am using, and these are retired um, uh, designer series paper, um, great to use for gifts. I am using four pieces, and this is one whole sheet or four six by six pieces of designer series paper. One 12 by 12 or, fours, or uh, four six by sixes. And you'll get this done. You're gonna need um, some, um, I just cut these, This these are from my um, packet of uh, where I uh, punch out my uh, labels. Um, I believe this is the timeless label punch. Let's see. Yeah, it's the timeless label punch. Um, and you're going to need some glue dots, some adhesive, uh, some stamping dimensionals. And I had my stamping dimensionals here. Oh, Mary's up oh, there. They go. Sometimes I don't know where they are. Okay, so um, oh. I'm going to cut. Oops, sorry about that. Oh, and you're going to need where is it you're going to need um, a mini paper pumpkin box and I just took it out I'm staring at it ladies and gentlemen oh, there they are so you're going to need one of these. And there is um, a shiny side and there is a dull side. The shiny side is food safe, so if you want to put food in it, you put that on the inside or you can put it on the outside. Um, this is the mini paper pumpkin and you get 10 in a um, a box so you can have 10 Christmas presents or 10 presents. Okay, so the first thing I am going to do is I'm going to cut my designer series paper. I'm going to cut one piece, five and a quarter. Five and a quarter by three and a half. Okay by three and a half. Okay. Then I'm going to cut, this is five quarter, I am going to cut a three and a quarter inch strip off of that. And then another three quarter inch strip. And I'm going to cut this at three and a half. And this is the three quarter inch strip. And yes, I know I could have just, I just realized that I could have cut these first and I went ahead to waste all that paper. Okay. 
Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to cut the other three in half at three inches. And then at four and a half. And now you've got some, these you could use um, if you want more. Um, instead of six, you could do probably two more. So you could do eight um, pieces, eight uh, cards if you would like. Four and a half. But we're just going to do six. So I'm going to put this together and I'm going to put this on the inside because I like the shiny side better out. I just do. I've done it both ways. I'll show you another one I just already did. So just fold all of these up now so you don't do it have to do it later. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I am just where's my big one? I am just going to Where's my stamp and seal? I'm just doing this because it's faster right now. I would use uh, probably something, since it's going to be on this, that sticks really well. Oh, oh well, there it goes. Too bad, so sad. And then this, since this box folds like this and this goes on the outs on the outside this is the one or this goes on the outside this is the one that gets decorated okay and we have two sides so if you want to use two sides you can use two sides. And then you want to decorate these. I'm put that last one in right. and put these in too. And then these go over. And just put this one. that. Now I'm going to take my one, two, three, four, five, six, bunch of these. And I am going to go every other one. So Got to remember how this goes because you want this one, at least this one. Let's go like this. These we really don't care. Uh, I only 
Ricky had five, I thought I had six. And I'm racing here because it says I have no battery left or little batteries. And I want to get this done. So I've got a thanks and a thinking of you. Oops. Ooh. There. I think this one needs to be inked. Good way to use up your um, designer series paper. You could put happy birthday. These are going to so your friends can. So we're just going to finish these up. And again, this is just a quick easy way to do a gift. Grab the I want to put those on top of those. I fold the top down just so you can see all the pretty cards. There we go, six great cards. In a nice little box. And if you want, you can decorate the box a little more or even just run some ribbon around it. I like putting, uh, and I, I think I'll put heartfelt or something on that, this box, and it's ready to go. So remember to follow me on YouTube and if you really like what I do, 
Um, I'd really appreciate it if you um, shop for me at marytrotner.stampinup.net. Uh, all the information is down below. Thanks for visiting and happy stamping. Bye-bye.